This evening we're going to talk uh, a lot about new ways of learning. Learning now has so many different facets to it. And there are lots of companies that are beginning to do much more innovative ways of teaching. You are a leading contemporary historian and educationalist commentator and advisor to number 10. Who here practices mindfulness? Hands up. Okay, so you're all now going to practice mindfulness uh, for the rest of your lives. Close the eyes and I just want you to inhale to the count of three. And I'm going to say if you do this every morning when you arrive at work, you'll see yourself falling upward into knowledge to understanding and wisdom. This is what all mindfulness is. It's the opposite, by the way, of mindlessness. You will be less defended, less reactive, more engaged. And the more you do it, the better the quality of your professional and personal life. The biggest lie that we all absorb from schools and universities is that education stops uh, when we're 18 or 21 or whenever we leave uh, uni. It just goes on and the best people on earth are the people who are learning with their last breath. You have run a variety of agencies, particularly in the, the hard, kind of, you know, hard-nosed media space. What, what, what have you done and what, what's worked and, and what hasn't worked? I think that what um, a lot of agencies are doing is really trying to do reverse mentoring and, and listen to their staff about how they want that training budget to be allocated. And going back to your point about continuous learning and being curious, you, you need to f always find a way to do that and ultimately somebody that you look up to in your organisation doesn't have to be the person you directly report to, but I think having people that you see that you that inspire you is really important. Fisha, as well as being at Google, you are also um, a future leader from Wackle, and you've set up yourself um, a, a programme for the future leaders mm -hmm. through uh, being an entrepreneur and, and, and running that. What is it that you want? A lot of young people now want purpose. They want something to work towards. They want growth in their careers. They want to feel valued. I think as a manager, you have you kind of need to have a bit of a moral obligation to kind of yeah. develop people a yeah. little bit more. Yeah, that's um, a really good point. The education system, the world over, for, for good reasons, focuses on what is measurable. The stuff with all these IQ tests is that it, you just get out the answers that you expect. The people who are good at them are not necessarily intelligent. All they're really, all it's telling you is they're good at intelligence tests. That's all it is telling you. We are asking the wrong question. We are the world over asking of young people how intelligent is this young person through these intelligence tests. What we should be asking, wait for this, is how is this young person intelligent? Zaid, you are the CMO of BT. We've been there for three years. Prior to that at, at P&G. If you let people be themselves, find their own ways of doing things, then you get so much more out of them. I mean, if you can take an organisation, we've got a thousand marketing and digital people in, in BT. If we can improve them by 1%, that's like hiring 10 new people. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. The more you can open the opportunity for people to learn, the more they feel that personal growth, the more they give back. The great wisdom is that your children are not you. Uh, as Cahill G. Brown said, your children are not your children. And great parenting is about helping your children to become who they are. Bad parenting is helping them become like you. Thank you.